Hi, I'm Matt, and in this episode, we're going to be going through the wiring of a real life setup of iNav with the Omnibus V2 or the Omnibus Pro V2 board. Now, do note, I am recording this on the iPad and it's going to be a little bit shaky. Apologies for that. So, what can we see in front of us? Let's quickly go around the components. Now, uh, I'll start from the left. We've got the ESC here to the left. We've got the receiver. We've got our FPV camera. We've also got our mains, well, our battery plug underneath there as well. We've also got a little GPS unit. I've got no idea what brand or make that is. It, it literally, I've had it here kicking around for a year and apparently it works, so happy days. And we've also got our FPV transmitter over there. Now, you may be wondering, Matt, why have you got this out on the desk and why is it not in a model? Well, you may have just seen it. Just over here to the left is my little Hornet FPV wing, which is not very big at all. Uh, and what I'm going to be doing is that I've dug down into the base and I've been and printed out a little 3D printed base in there. And that sits down in there, which is a bit odd trying to do that on the camera, but it will fit in there. And then the board's going to sit down in on top. Uh, the servo wires you see I've clipped them off and we'll, I'll be soldering them directly to the board and then once the board is mounted in place I've got a, another one of those little mounts which I've made and I'm going to put that in on top to protect the board uh, and then we'll stick a bit of velcro in here and obviously put all the components in uh, as well. Now a quick rough idea on the layout, video transmitter over here on the left, that, was, that is where I had the video transmitter before but on the bright side that little GPS module which is just there, uh, will go in there quite nicely uh, and then we'll wrap the wire around, out, around the outside and then we have the receiver over there and of course the FPV camera will sit in the front. Now obviously my little Hornet wing has been pretty mashed up because I've flown it into the trees uh, numerous times before. Anyway, uh, let's get back and have a look at the wiring. So uh, I tell you what, let's start with the awkward one, which actually turned out it wasn't very awkward at all, the little GPS unit. So this little GPS unit has got four wires on it, black and red, which is really straightforward. So now the color coding on that little connector for the wires is actually incorrect. Okay, you, do, you pay no attention to the wires, the colors of the wires on that connector. What you do instead is look on the pinouts for that port uh, and you'll know that the green wire is, let me just get this right, and I'm looking there myself. Yeah, the, the green wire at the bottom is actually five volts. The yellow wire is ground, and then black and red coming out of here uh, is uh, RX and TX, and I've connected those up to the right wires. And again, you use the wires which are coming out of your GPS unit as the reference. So black is ground, red, uh, is positive and then white and yellow uh, and then I had a 50-50 chance of getting white and yellow the wrong way round uh, and it actually I actually wired it up right the first time which was happy days. Uh, the video transmitter here we've got the red wire which believe it or not goes across and goes onto that point there so we have the power so the red the power from our battery comes in and goes round and then goes into that pin desk there, or that pad just there, goes through the resistor, and then you'll see that I've hooked up power to the ESC and the FPV um, transmitter just down here, and of course the FPV camera as well. So we're taking our uh, five volts, well, our mains pack voltage there, uh, and the reason for that, it means that all current which goes to any device on the uh, in the system can get measured accurately. Uh, then uh, on the underside, the bit which you, you've probably not seen yet before is that we've got ground wired up underneath there as well. So we've got ground going to the battery connector and then we, of course we've got ground then going off to our ESC. Now I was mentioning about the video transmitter. We've got the video transmitter just there on the left. Uh, we've got positive going off to the pad there because it will take full pack voltage. The yellow wire, which you really probably cannot see on here, now this board is slightly different to the V1 is because the pin orientation down there is the other way around for video in and video out. So video in, so this bright yellow wire just there which is coming from the FPV camera comes in and goes into the uh, innermost pin and then comes out on the top on the outermost pin off to our video transmitter. The receiver 
Uh, I'm using PPPM with the D4R2 FR Sky receiver. Uh, you, know, you can see that because I've been in jump at the first two pins. Uh, so that turns the D4R2 into PPPM mode. And then that runs straight through. Uh, and then you'll see that I've got that uh, connected just down there. And of course, I haven't soldered on the servos yet, but I have been and soldered on the ESC. You'll notice that I've clipped off the wire, the five volts, uh, which comes out of the ESC. So we don't have five volts conflicting from the board to the back, which is built into the speed controller. Uh, and obviously we've got the FPV camera just over here on the right, which has got uh, yellow, which we mentioned is just the FPV signal. And then ground actually goes to the top pin up there. And then the red wire, which is just there, uh, goes onto the positive pin there. And then that is going to get crammed. I'm not going to say crammed. It's actually going to be quite a nice fit, uh, um, finish by the time I've uh, completed it. Uh, that's going to go in the little Hornet FPV wing. Now, the reason you may be wondering, well, Matt, why are you going to be sticking this in a Hornet FPV wing? Uh, are they like too small? Well, the answer is no, they're not too small. And in fact, that's the reason why I want iNav in this model uh, is because any sign of wind with this little model and it gets knocked around all over the shop. And what I'm really hoping here uh, is that iNav uh, on that flight controller board can just take the edge off that model so we can fly in less than perfect flying conditions uh, and it means that I can get to enjoy it some more. So for myself, Matt, I sincerely hope that this little quick impromptu video on the iPad, again, apologies, it has been a bit shaky, uh, has been and given you uh, an insight to the a real world wiring up uh, of iNav onto an Omnibus uh, Pro, it's the V2 board, the one with the current sensor on there, like a practical insight to how it's gonna be wired up. So for myself, Matt, Thank you ever so much for watching. Any questions about this setup, please just ask in the comments section below. Oh, and also before I go, I have checked and double checked all the settings uh, for iNav on the board. The only unknown which I have right now is that the servo orientation, because I haven't soldered at the servos yet. I don't know if I need to reverse either or both of the servo channels, uh, something which I will cover with you in a later episode. Anyway, time for me to go. Coffee's getting cold. I'll see you again shortly. Cheerios!